Glad to be here. Uh, yeah, no, I feel like the bar for a comedian tonight, pretty good, pretty good. You either have to have it be your first time and bring all your friends to support you, that's good, or uh, just ramble incoherently for six minutes. So my odds are pretty good right now. Either way, whether you guys like me or not, I'm going to do fine. Uh, so Woo! this is good. Um, I don't, uh, I disagree. I like a lot of dumb jokes. I have a lot of dumb thoughts. I think dumb things all the day, all day, I think dumb stuff. Dumb, 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 dumb. Like, I want, I think to myself, like, I have, I have questions that I ask myself. I'm, like, because, like, I don't understand a lot. You can only understand so many things, and I don't understand a lot of things. Like, who named it 9-11 Never Forget? You know? Like, who came up with that? Who was, whose idea was that to name it 9-11 Never Forget? I know that it's the 9-11 part is the day, but who was, like, Never Forget? Who came up with that part? Who was a genius that... Who decided to make us feel guilty forever, you know? Who decided that we should feel bad about something we had nothing to do with for the rest of our lives? That's a good idea. Like, who decided to give 9-11 a slogan, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's <laughs> fucked up, you know? Like, who, who is like, that's the most corporate America you, you like, I'm surprised 9-11 doesn't have a fucking logo, you know? Just like one of those, one of those holographic, Graphs that like, you, there's the buildings, then it's not. There's the buildings, then it's not. You know what I mean? Like that, why does that not, a, a, but I just like, I don't, uh, I, so I don't, I don't understand because it's like, they were like 9-11, never, never forget this horrible national tragedy. And it's like, how could I? That's what it should be. 9-11, how the fuck could I forget? They played it on TV every single day for a month. How could I forget? We celebrate it every fucking year. How could I forget 9-11? I like, I've never forgotten Christmas. How would I forget 9-11? You know what I mean? Like, I was raised a Jehovah's Witness, and I still know what Christmas is. I'm not gonna, 9-11 is <laughs> in my fucking brain. 9-11, it's just there. It's like, who's gonna forget this? You know, as they like guilt trip us. When they, like, when I think about it, like, it's like 9-11 never, that feels like something, like a narcissist, when, when a narcissist tells you about their day, that's what it feels like. Is it's just like, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And you're like, well, that's, that's not great, but it's not that bad. Like, there's people that have had their heads cut off every single day and have 9-11s all the time. And they're all like, hey, never forget what happened to me, though. This is both of our problem now. Fuck you. And you're like, Jesus Christ. Like, so aggressive. But, like, I just want to... You know how fucked up it is? Is that they came up with that phrase. They were like, 9 11, never forget. Someone came up with that. And they came up with it. A marketing team came up with that, for sure. They were in a pitch meeting, and they were all like, all right, terrorist attack. How are we going to make everybody afraid for the rest of their lives? How would we do that? And they're all like, one guy was like, that at night. He was all like, uh, how about 9 uh, 11, never again? And they're like, we can't really promise that, actually. Uh, also then, some guy's like, wasn't that the Holocaust? And like, yeah, that's right, you, yeah, you can't even promise that one not happening again either, but yeah. And then another guy was like, what about, uh, you know that phrase, forgive and forget? And everyone was like, yeah, and they're like, what if we did the opposite? <laughs> what if we, and so a guy was all like, oh, I like that, 9-11, never forgive. And they're like, well, that'll be kind of the undertone of it, you know, like that's what we'll make everybody feel like. But really, we'll, what we'll do is we'll say 9-11, Never forget, and then it'll just be really hard for Muslims to live here now. Um, okay, well, I'm totally right, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, <laughs> like that was that was there was no fat on that joke, and 100% truth. I'm sorry that it's hard for people with burkas to fly. That's not my fucking fault. Uh, I didn't I didn't have anything to do with that, and and those things look comfortable too. So I don't know why, but whatever. I just hope. I just hope 9-11 doesn't happen again. It probably will. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to do it, but 9-11 will probably happen again. I just hope they don't do it on the same day. That's a little on the nose, you know? Like, I just hope they don't do it on the exact same day. Because then they'll have to call it, they'll have to rename it, they'll have to be like, 9-11, fool me twice. You know? Never get, never get fooled again. All right, yeah. Whoop, they'll have to name it 9-11, whoops, we did, how did we know that? This was totally our fault. But, you know. Then we'll have to take our clothes off at the airport. They'll just have everybody stripped naked. It'll be real. You think the shoes are bad, you know? I think it's crazy too that now, like the, the way that that the way that that moves back and forth. That like, okay, 9/11 happens. Everybody has to take off their belt and shoes. 
Okay, COVID-19, now everybody just has to wear a mask as they take their shoes off. You know, masks, the thing that covers people's faces that, who might be terrorists. Because you know what really hides a terrorist? Their shoes. You know, you know what's a really good disguise? Shoes. And belts. But yeah, masks, that totally, that keeps everybody not a total secret. But here's how, like, dude, 9 11 would be so easy to do again. That, that, that's crazy. It'd be so easy. Because all you have to do is you just have to have everybody on the plane agree that they're cool with dying. That's all you have to have. Is you, have, you don't even need weapons. You don't need to bring anything on the plane to take over the plane. You just have to have a pilot that's just like, you know what? Fuck this country. I mean, you know, like, like the, the way that our country is going now, it's, the next terrorist attack isn't going to even be from somewhere else. It's going to be us being all like, you know what? We don't want to live here anymore either. Like, we're just, let's help a bunch of other Americans just take out the fucking Pentagon. Let's just do it, you know? That's the downside of 9 11, is they missed the Pentagon. That's the only, see, then, then we would still have abortion. <laughs> yeah, you should clap for me for that. That's a yeah! strong take. <laughs> That's a strong take, and uh, I don't know how to dismount from that, but uh, thank you. <laughs>